Good day, everyone. My name is Michael Hebamu. I'm one of the engineers at First Electric. So today we are here to do a little experiment on comparison between two solar panels. Here we have the solar, uh, the Sonova solar panel and the Jingo solar panel. And the two solar panels are at the same watt, 5.5 watt in solar panel. Once you are trying to get the solar panel, you just know how uh, the generating, how they are generating on the same condition. In this experiment, we are using the same, uh, the same battery bank, okay? and the experiment we are using two solar battery bank, and the, two, the battery is rated for 12 volts, uh, 220 amps watts. And as we all know, the system we are using for the, the two experiments is. Uh, a 24 volt system, and we have a two separate type controller, a PC type controller, whereby one of the solar panels will be connected to one of the of the cell controller, controller, and while the second one will also be connected to independently type controller. So the experiment is just for us to know how the two uh, the two solar panel generates, uh, like which one generates better. Though uh, we know that this experiment we are doing and this condition we are doing now does not actually determine their real value, actual value. But at least this is just for us to give us a hint of what and what this actually generates under the same condition. So the first thing we're going to do doing is to read the voltage of each of the solar panels. Let's compare that. And we'll be doing that by reading, checking, uh, using the multimeter to read the voltage of the uh, solar, solar, solar panel, which is by my right side. Why the DK solar panel is on the left side. So join me as I read the voltage of the Sonova solar panel. So currently the Sonova solar panel is rated the POC is rated for 49.68 so molest and the VMP is rated for 40.89. So let's read the voltage. What uh, let's know what voltage the solar panel will give us under this condition. So currently, the solar panel is giving us 41, 47.1 volts. So, 47.1 volts. So this actual value is when there is no load on it. So we're just actually reading the voltage each the panel is generating when exposed to direct sunlight. So the next is to check the voltage also of the Jacob solar panel when it's not connected to no load. So currently, the Jacob is actually uh, reading 45.7 volts. So, 45.7 volts. So and the the uh, VOC rated of this particular panel is rated for uh, 49.72. 49.72 is the VOC rated, but the panel is only giving us 45.7 on that when it is exposed to the rest sunlight. And why the VMP is rated for the VMP is rated for 40.99. 40.99. So with this just testing of the voltage, you can see that the solar panel is generating more voltage compared to that of this. Even to the fact that the uh, deco rated VMP and the uh, VOC is higher compared to the Sonova. The Sonova still generates more voltage compared to that of this. Thank you. So the next thing we're going to do is let's position these panels and also check the same voltage. So that just to confirm that the the the, uh, the position where the solar is is not favorable, there is not a favorable condition, a favorable position for the solar solar panel. So join me as we do that. So uh, the 
investment panel has the information. So now we have the ego as my right hand side. And why the Sonova now as my left hand side. So that's why I have to measure the voltage of the ego first. And we do that with the Sonova. So we did earlier, the two solar panels are measured when they're supposed to direct sunlight without no load. So we are protecting when there is no load for anything now. So after the after test for no load, the next test will be when they are connected to load. If our load is going to be the battery. So as we discussed earlier, the, panel, the battery we will be using as load is two units of uh, 12 volts to 20 amps tubular batteries. So as, well, as you can see. So currently, the Jinko, which we measure here, that was 45.7 volts. Now, what we can, what is actually generating here is also 45.5 volts, so as you can see, 45.5 volts, 45.5 volts. So let's measure that from the solar valves. Let's measure the voltage of this solar solar panel. So after measuring that of the GCO, this gives us 45.5 volts. So now we are getting 46.8 volts from the Sonova solar panel. So and you can see, even after changing the position of the Sonova power panel, where it was earlier before at my right hand side, moving it to my left hand side now, you see the voltage is still higher than that of the GCO solar panel. Let's continue whereby we introduce a load, which is the battery. Thank you. So join me as we start the connection. So the connection has been completed and our electric controller has sent our battery and the solar mode. We said earlier we have our Sonova connected to this charge controller and why our Jinko connected to this particular charge controller. So the two panels are the harvesting. Uh, up to now, currently we have our Sonova generating about 8.9 9 amps. Uh, why the operating voltage uh, is around 40 volts, 40 volts. So this is the fact that the two controllers are actually charging the two uh, the, the, the batteries, the two controllers are charging the batteries. And like we all know, so the second controller is connected to the Jinko solar panel. It's actually uh, generating 7.2 amps currently. And the, the operating voltage is uh, 39, 40 volts which is corresponding almost to the same thing what our Sonova is generating. So they are both generating on the same voltage. But the Jinko tends to, the operating voltage Jinko tends to drop compared to the Sonova. So currently the Sonova is about 40 volts, while the Jinko is about that 4 volts. Though the voltage is not as stable based, based on the radiation which both of them are exposed to. So based on how they are exposed to. So currently, like we said, the average current is the Jinko is generating is about 7.2, 7.7. Highest we've seen so far is 8.0 amps. So why the the operating voltage also is about 37 to 40 volts. So 
going back to our solar solar panel so the lowest amps we've seen so far generating is around 8.6 8.0 amps and the highest so far is around 9.9 Amps currently. It's safe to say that the solar solar panel generates more energy, both at the current level, it generates more currents and it also has a higher operating voltage compared to the Jinko, whereby the voltage, the operating voltage is lower to so about two to three voltage compared to the solar bar. And also the current also hits the Jinko so charges with is about seven to eight amps, while the solar bar goes as high as nine to nine to close to 10 amps also. So, and uh, to continue our experiment also, we'll be posi positioning the two solar panels so that we we'll also test under the same different position. So we can know that maybe this position is actually favoring this solar panel over the position whereby the Jinko is also. As we continue our experiment, the next step is to, to position the two solar panels, maintaining the position of the two solar charge also. So now, what we'll be doing now is to uh, connect the Jinko to this charge controller. Whereby, as we know, the, the, uh, the first experiment performed is the solar, so, so Nova solar panel is actually connected to this particular so, uh, charge controller. So now, this connected to charge controller, why this panel will be connected to this charge controller? What we'll be doing next? So, um, join me as we position this solar panel. So, we are locating the Jinko solar panel to this position. So, we have our solar bar here now. So the two solar panels have been positioned and the solar panel, the uh, two MPT have started harvesting energy as much as they can. So currently we have our solar bar, solar panel connected to this solar uh, MPT and why it is actually currently generating about 8.5 amps and the operating voltage is around uh, 37. 37 volts. Why the that of the Jinko uh, solar panel is currently generating about 3.4 amps at 4.5 volts, and the two so and the two batteries actually the two uh, MPPT has actually, actually seen the battery at 26.2 uh, volts, 26.2 volts actually yes. So that means they are actually seeing the voltage of the battery uh, at 26 volts and actually generating that different. So currently the Jinko is actually generating about 8.8 amps. 8.8 amps and why the solar is actually generating about 9.1 amps. So with this particular experiment we just concluded now. It's safe to say that uh, even after repositioning the solar 
from this position when the thing weighs down to this position, we figure out that the voltage of the operating voltage of the uh, Sonova solar panel always is higher when it is currently here and here. So compared to that of the Jingle. So the present voltage of the uh, Sonova is between 36 to 40 volts, US 46 and 36, while that of the Jingle fall to the point of 33 volts. So currently and the arms also whereby the until the Sonova was actually generating this with a close to 9.1 volts. So at this position we were able to generate up to 9.1 volts while that of uh, Sonova was around 8.8 volts. So that means when the professional panel Jacob solar panel was actually here earlier before it was um, this place is very uh, in a very very good position compared to this position. So even at the point where by the Jacob was here it was not generating as high as when the Sonova is actually here. So it is safe to say that the Sonova generates more energy compared to Jinko when they are tested on the same condition. So uh, like I said earlier, we are, this test is done under the same condition, the same battery voltage, the same uh, uh, the same weather condition, everything on the same. So and to prove that we have actually repositioned the two solar, the, the two, uh, solar panel position in such a way that the two of them are being run on the same side controller at the same time so thank you